Hey, what's up, Ryan Intermediate? Welcome to a new school year. It's Mr. Woodrow, your principal, and we are here to teach you about the seven habits and how you can use them at home and how you can use them here at school. And I'm Mrs. Holmes, the assistant principal at the building. We're very excited to get started this year. So check out these videos and find different ways you can use the habits throughout the day. Habit one is be proactive. I can be prepared for school each morning by bringing my backpack and my school supplies. I'll get this done right now. I can say I'm sorry when I hurt someone or make a mistake. I choose to walk in the hallway. <laughs> there's a big problem. Well, there's always something we can do. Ba 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 da 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 da. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Before getting started, you want to know where you are going. Hmm, my puzzle needs to look like this. Let's start by finding all of the borders first. Great idea. It looks like we should fill in the states next. Yeah, it does, the border's done. Just like having a plan to put together a puzzle, we need to have a plan or a mission for ourselves. Habit three is putting first things first. That means before we do our activity, we have to do our warm up. Seek first to understand and then to be understood. The first or the most important part about this is to listen first before you talk. How do you do that? First part is think about your body language. A good example? A bad example? The next part is put yourself in other people's shoes. The first, a good example? That really hurt my feelings. That must be awful to have hurt feelings. A bad example. You hurt my feelings. You're going to get over it. And finally, mirror what they say. A good example? That really hurt my feelings. So I'm hearing you say I've done something that's upset you? A bad example. You really did hurt my feelings. Well, you hurt my feelings first. 
Always remember, with habit five, it's important to seek first to understand, and then you can share your thoughts. All right, Mrs. Thompson, your goal today is to build a tower using those cups and that rubber band and the string. You may not touch the cups, and you have to hold the strings at the end. Okay. Habit seven, start, sharpen the saw. Because balance feels best. And body. Spirit. Heart. 